Y'all see I got the glasses on today. That's because I'm about to read y'all for fucking filth. Yeah. Some of y'all have been showing y'all asses recently. And I have a few comments. Oh, shut up and play the damn video. this TikTok on Twitter recently of this man talking to his wife. You know what? Let's roll the clip because it'll be a lot quicker and more interesting than me explaining it. And of course, people are yelling outside. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> so this question is, what do my hubby do for a living and do our families get along? Yes, our families get along. Um, you know, just like any other family. I mean, we have gatherings or whatever. We laugh, we joke, we drink, we do all that. You know, typical shit. And um, regarding what my husband does for a living, babe, what you do for a living? Uh, my employment is I'm an electrician, local 313 IBW. I also hold a union ticket from the state of Delaware as an electrician at DSU, HBC. Yeah. Um, as far as anything else, I run a uh, a youth football program with. Boy, me didn't ask you all that. They asked you what your and, occupation uh, was. Okay, they asked you what you was or what you do for a living, not and your I'm, extracurricular activities. And I run this house. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're doing too much. All this house. You're doing, you're doing too house. much. You're doing too much. But do you guys see that energy he had for his wife? All the love in the air. Did you guys feel it? We love to see it. But apparently not the black men. They don't love to see it. They had a whole bunch of fucking problems in the thread. All felt funny at some points. And of course the train is coming. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. In the thread, they had a few things to point out. All felt funny at some points. They were insinuating that this man in the video, this man right here, is black fishing because he has a lineup and tattoos. The bar is low. The bar is mad low because since when was tattoos being completely tatted up reserved for black people? Because a quick history lesson, the Vikings were covered in tattoos and the last time I checked, Vikings were mostly Caucasian of the Caucasus regions. The Yakuza, the Triads, Hawaiians, Native Americans, and of course, African tribes all tattoo themselves, and it's a part of their culture. So, since when was tattooing yourself reserved strictly for black people and, and people of color? And I hate that black men especially, well, black people in general, love to try to tell you what type of black person you need to be. Like, that's so unfair because that just gives the police the right to profile us when they see fit. If any time that you decide that black people act like this, black people look like that, and black people do this, that's when you put us in a box. That's when you start to limit us and our individuality, and it's unfair to the black community. The truth is, black men don't want to see black women do shit. We can't do anything. We can't love outside of our race. We can't love within our race. We cannot get our bodies done. We can't wear weaves. We can't be natural if we want to be all natural. Men especially always seem to have a problem with what black women are doing. They stay finding their way in black women's business. So in short, can a white man blackfish? The answer is unequivocally yes, of course a white man can blackfish, but I'm going to need more qualifying details than a lineup and some tattoos. Like, I did some research and I found out that this woman's husband is Cuban. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, he's Cuban so he's a little black. I'm not saying that because there are many white Cubans. What I'm saying is he has curly hair, so it makes me feel like he probably cannot go to a white barber even if he wanted to because a lot of white barbers are not specialized in kinky and curly hair. So he's probably going to somebody Hispanic or black, which would explain why he has a lineup in the first place. And let me take it all the way back, because since when was lineups equivalent to being black? Because the last time I checked, Dean Thomas just got a hairline. Like, he didn't have a hairline all throughout Harry Potter. Was was he less black for that? So what is black fishing for white men? 
I don't know. It will probably be acting overtly urban, but I hate using terms like urban because what does urban really mean? Urban is just short for a city, and anybody can live within a city. That's how you get people like Max the Demon, who's from Brooklyn, and that man is really about that life. Like, he's really about that street life. Like, I wouldn't dare be like Max the Demon is black fishing. He's not. Like, that's disrespectful to people, to white people who actually come from slums. Like, and I hate to cake for white people for a second, but white people make up the vast majority of people on welfare and on government assistance. So that just goes to show that there's a lot of white people living in slums. So you can act ratchet or ghetto and be white or black. Being ghetto or ratchet should not be reserved strictly for black people. To be very honest, I don't think that white men who blackfish would ever have as big as a platform as those white women who blackfish because black women just don't give bullshit the time of day. So in short, can a white man blackfish? The answer is of course, yes he can. But I'm going to need a lot more details. I'm going to need a lot more evidence that some that a white man, especially this white man, is trying to blackfish. Quick side note, I'm super sorry that this video came damn near a week later, but I am working pretty much full time with these damn children, and I don't have no time to even wipe my ass. I'm really not gonna hold y'all. Like, I don't have no time on my hands. It takes a lot of effort and energy to come up with these ideas, to sit in front of a camera and talk to nobody and record, to sit and edit and have to listen to my voice for hours on end, try to find the perfect music, try to make the perfect thumbnail it just takes a lot of time and I love to do it I'm not sitting here complaining because I love this YouTube shit but please forgive me my videos may not be on schedule every single week so I'm very very sorry that y'all have been waiting for this video forgive me anyways thanks for coming to my TED talk glad you guys tuned in make sure you guys like and subscribe because y'all been coming to my channel and watching my videos and not subscribing and I feel some type of way because it's women's history month and y'all are supposed to support y'all women especially y'all black women all right because we run the damn world all right just in case y'all didn't know so please like comment subscribe let me know what you think about white men and black fishing and what that would look like to y'all let's be friendly in the comments anyways enjoy your weekend and i hope that you guys have blessed 